Same thing as last time, let me pause this. I just finished watching Giants Gate episode 13 to 19, but this is going to be a spoiler thing again, because it's, it's going to be a review. So yeah, you got 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, intro. And this is a, re not a reaction, but a review of Steins Gate, episode 13 through 19. Oh my fucking god. It kind of makes sense why Asusuha was so, like, against Kusube. Because in 2036, she creates the time machine for CERN. Okabe becomes a terrorist leader. And they're both dead by that time. Suzaha is fucking John Cheater. The bombshell! I watched this last night. I was like, oh my fucking god, what? I did not. I didn't go to school, I'm just saying, I, I, I didn't go to school because I was like too tired, but yeah, like, like this, oh my god, I, I, ah! And they go back in time, when they leap back in time to finish working on her time machine, and Dara's working on it, and everything, trying to find her badge. Her dad's badge. And, like... At first, I thought that Mr. Braun was her dad. Like, I thought... I, 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 I don't know why I did, but I did. But, yeah. So, we get the bombshell of a lifetime. That fucking... Daru... Is Shizuha's... Dad. Oh my god, real oh my god, I did not expect that. I did not expect that at all. Oh my god. She finally gets to see her dad. And and Akabe is going to change the future. Fate not gonna have his way anymore. And then she goes back to to 1975. And that fucking. How that ended was just like a Higurashi kind of thing right there. That was a pure Higurashi, no, not gonna call the knee ending right there. Like that. That was just. She even said herself that, that she got amnesia after, after that crash. It was Akabe's fault because she stopped her from going back in that 1975 after uh, before that that storm, that storm screwed up something in that time machine that and no one seen until it was too late. She she crashed there. She got amnesia as she lived her life, like a good carefree life. But then, just remembered, like a month after she went to die, you know, before she went to die. It's fucked up. And she writes to Okube in the game, saying, "I failed. I failed. I failed. I failed. I'm sorry that I failed. I was all. I was almost in tears. I was almost in tears." Oh, my God, man, this 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 anime never ceases to amaze me. And, and she fell, saying that she had a carefree life, and she forgot what happened, and forgot all about the IBM fifty one hundred. Oh my God! Just oh my God! Just and she killed herself. If you think about it, no one, like, in her future, 
in, in, in 2036, there's no one to stop CERN. Because John Teeter's dead in, in 2000, Okabe's dead, Mikaki's dead, Daughter's dead, me, ma'am. Maruri, Maruri is like been dead. And fucking Texan girl is just dead too. Like, there's no one to stop serving that timeline. That That is a doom of the timeline. I, I'm like, fucking God. And Ferris and her dad, oh, Ferris. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. But it, it's all to say Mayuri. Mayuri. And she remembers again. Big Russia kind of thing that they remember from both of the timeline, time world things, and they change the future. Past, present, whatever. So it's back into the Moe. And they change the other text with trap person, guy, girl. And to, we're making him into a, a boy again. And fucking Texan girl, episode 19. Oh my. She fucking killed herself four days after she killed Mayori. I think. Yeah. Like, how. And this FB. It's just using her. I didn't like her character, but now I'm starting to like her, and I don't like that. My God, man! This is my man's fucking show, man. It's fucking show, and that freaking ten minute thing was when he busted into her apartment. He busted into her apartment, tries to grab the phone with Homer, and they're fighting. I'll I'll give it to the English dub. Right now, you're like whoever did that Texan girl's voice. You did a good job. You had a lot of emotion in your voice, and I was like, "Why can't the people in the other apartments hear her yell?" Because half the time, that door was wide open. And like, who found her body anyway? When she killed herself, like, who found her body? And. I'll guess we're gonna I'll guess we're gonna see her past episode twenty, so yeah. I'm nearing the end of this journey. And I hate that. Like Shimone in prison school, I am nearing the end and I hate that. But at least I still got Dragon Ball Super, Durara, season two, One Punch Man, and all and all the Moku all the Moti the custody to watch, but yet I, I'm even feeling sorry for her. Like why? Like why? And they're going to use her and throw her into the wind and dust and just leave her there. Like I just to know what turned her into that kind of person. Like, like, like he had enough and he. Oh my God! Huh? Yeah, kind of like that. But he put that fist in the face and kicked her and had her on the ground and shit. Oh my god. Oh. Payback. Fucking big. Fucking payback. But, like, you can't, like, actually feel. <coughs> you gotta feel sorry for her because she's brainwashed. And she kills my hoodie in, like, a day or so. Like, and the freaking time, like, his ring started building will not work because she has to believe. So he's going to meet FB in episode 20 to make her believe, and he can go back in time to stop that. Oh my god, this fucking anime. I, 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 I like how it's picking up. So yeah, this has been a review of Science Geek, episode 13 through 19.
I hope you enjoyed this. And yeah. Look forward to episode 20 through 24 finale. Yeah. See ya. Have a good day or night. Bye.